Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for April 16th through April 30th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. Um, thank you guys for the likes, subscribes, and comments. I really love how active you are on the channel. It just truly makes me so, so happy. I hope you all are also doing okay during this quarantine and kind of global lockdown and making the most of, you know, this kind of gifted time to slow down, to tune in. Um, to maybe get clear on some things, you know, within yourself and within your life and all of that good stuff. So I'm sending you lots of love um, for the highest and best outcome of everything that is happening. Um, also, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. It doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the world at this point, which I'm beyond grateful for. Um, the link is below. All the information is on the website about the distance energy healing and therapy, as well as my story. You can um, read the benefits, read the testimonials, and you'll also see I have a really great 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So I hope that is helpful for you in some way. It's a really beautiful time to be having any sort of energy work done, really, because we're each being you know, triggered to heal and to shift certain things in our life. And the energy therapy can really support you with that um, and just keep you uh, in alignment with your highest and best self so you can, you know, make clearer decisions and have healthier relationships and all of that good stuff. So again, all the information is below as well as the 15% discount for your very first session. So um, I think that's it. We're going to get straight into the readings. Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for April 16th through the 30th, 2020. I've already fully shuffled, so I'm just going to do a couple here. How are you guys doing since that super full moon? Holy moly, that kicked my butt for a few days, so I'm wondering if you guys felt it as well. And I'm curious to see what's there for you. The last few readings for you have been really powerful, so let's see what I've got here. Wow. Okay, Libra. Starting off, first card out we've got is Page of Pentacles. So for a lot of you, this can be a new offer coming in, either a person or a job opportunity, something new. Um, but I'm really noticing how this page is kind of like really admiring and acknowledging this pentacle that they're holding. Do you notice that? Like they're like it's this little gift, this like precious thing that they're holding on to. So <clears throat> and I've got that out here with the Page of Cups. So this is interesting because they're facing one another. And I feel like this offer coming in for you could be lighthearted, playful. You know, when I'm shuffling, I am asking Libra in love or about love. So I do feel, obviously, it's a general reading. For some of you, this will be for work um, or, you know, a different opportunity. But for a lot of you, this is going to be around love and a relationship or somebody new. Um, but I just, I'm feeling a different energy around this page of pentacles, almost like maybe this person has been around you. Um, they've made an offer, but it, it's a very small offer. Or maybe there's still a connection here and they are starting to really see how special you are. They may not be fully ready to step up and commit and all of that with the page of cups, which does bring, you know, more playful, lighthearted, um, non-committal type energy but I'm I honestly am feeling that these two cards are the same person so if you are dealing with somebody I feel like they are going through their process of seeing you the gift that you are and truly like the special things about you maybe they've pulled back a little bit even because they are evaluating you know this I just, this character here looks like he's just not, I say he, but it can be male or female. He's just not aware of anything else going on around. It's just kind of focused and trying to get clarity here. So if you are dealing with somebody who's been a little bit back and forth or pulled back a little bit, or they're just not moving things as fast as maybe you want them to, I don't think you have anything to worry about Libra because I've also got the Ace of Cups out here. 
So it's almost like they, they may go through, or this could be you too. You may be going through your process of evaluating a, a person, someone new in your life, and you're trying to figure out what makes sense. But with this Ace of Cups here, kind of as the outcome of, of these three cards, I do feel the clarity is going to come in. There is a connection here. There is an emotional, um, the opportunity for an emotional connection with this person. Wow, okay. Um, next up, we've got the Four of Swords. So, okay, this is tuning into what I was feeling that maybe this person has pulled back a little bit or there's a little bit of like a time out or a downtime within this connection. Maybe the communication has slowed. Uh, maybe you're trying to focus on other things and not really worry about what this person is doing or vice versa. The Four of Swords is kind of like a miniature hermit card. It's a you know, putting something aside and not wanting to think about it, deal with it right now. And I think this card can actually be quite positive, especially because there's so much going on around us right now energetically that we're all feeling different things than we've ever felt before. We're thinking about things differently than we've ever thought about them before, just with the changes happening globally. So if this happens for you or there is a little bit of a time out, I just, I don't really feel that it's a bad thing. You know, let there be a little bit of space. I think that can be quite healthy, especially if, you know, the person that you're dealing with has been a little bit maybe back and forth or unsure. And two, if this is somebody brand new coming in for you, give it the space to grow naturally and, you know, at a, a slow, healthy pace. But this is interesting because I've also got the Queen of Swords and the Justice card out here, which I feel this is representing you, Libra, both of these cards. Obviously, the Justice card is your card, but the Queen of Swords as well. You may need to actually be the one to say, you know what? I want an equal partnership. I want 50-50. I want somebody who is equally invested into this as I am. So if this person is a little bit back and forth or unsure, you may need to be the one to just make a decision within yourself of what you want and what you're willing to put up with and what, what it is that you can see as the possibility here. Because the Justice card in regards to love is really about an equal partnership, 50-50. Um, it has healthy boundaries. You know, things are in balance when it comes to the masculine and feminine energy. And the Queen of Swords can also represent a second chance. So if this is somebody who that I was feeling earlier that has maybe pulled back or there's a little like break or time out within this connection, I just I'm not getting that this connection has like fully come together yet. I think the interest is there. I feel the curiosity is there. I feel there is the possibility for a deep emotional connection and love here. But I'm also getting, it's like in the, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the brewing stage, like it's simmering right now. It's not quite fully there. Which I think is giving you an opportunity to keep your balance and to keep connected with you and, you know, with what's important to you in your life with you in the center of the reading here, really. Let me see what else I've got here. Too many. Just feel like I need to pull one more here. Okay. Interesting. So the two that jumped out together, Five of Pentacles with the Hermit card. Okay, so with the Four of Swords and the Hermit card, those are both kind of like timeout cards where like pull within, withdraw a little bit. Um, you could be dealing with a, a Virgo here with the Hermit card. You could also be dealing with another Libra with the Justice card. Um... So this five of pentacles 
is a disconnect. It's a disconnect in communication, physical disconnect, um, emotional or spiritual disconnect. Interesting. So if you, Libra, speak up and say, you know what, this is what I want, this is where I'm at, this is what I'm looking for, this person may not be there yet because you do have two pages. So it's very, very, very beginning stages of this connection, of the maturity, of the growth within this connection, which again, I don't necessarily think is a bad thing. All connections start at the very beginning, right? That's what a new person is in your life. But I just feel there's a lesson here around separation and disconnect. Because if you look, this hermit is like, the hermit always brings a spiritual lesson or like a lesson that we need to learn and understand. And it's shining a lantern into this five of pentacles. So... I would ask yourself, Libra, is it normal or is there a pattern within your dating, your relationships where there is a disconnect or where you feel um, there's a space or a distance? Is that something that happens often? If it is, then you might want to look at that and ask yourself why. Why does this happen uh, where, you know, someone I'm dating pulls away or doesn't keep the communication open or something like that? But there's, there's something here around this disconnect, being left out in the cold or you leaving someone out in the cold. Is it easy for you to shut down and not express and say how you truly feel? Because the last two cards that came out here is the Knight of Swords and the Three of Swords, which could be you holding on to a little bit of a grudge from the past. So that if this is somebody that you've been dealing with for a little bit and things just aren't moving, you might feel frustrated about that. Um, but the Three of Swords is like healing. There's something that needs to be discussed and healed here. And if you look, this Knight of Swords is moving straight towards this Hermit. There's something that you're not getting here, Libra. There's like a message for you that you're not seeing within this connection. If this person has pulled back, maybe you don't feel that it's finished. Maybe you're still hoping. Let me clarify a little bit here. Because you're in the center of the reading and the Justice card is going to bring balance and healing to this. Okay, so clarifying the Hermit card, there may have been a disconnect because of a disagreement. Okay, with the Five of Swords here, this is a little disagreement. There also can be pride and ego involved here, meaning the pride and the ego is going to block the true feelings, what the soul wants, what the heart wants. So that may be something that you want to look at here, Libra, if this is you or this could be the other person. Okay, so the Justice card, I was asking, what is this Justice card balancing out here? And Queen of Wands, which Queen of Wands energy to me is very feminine energy. It's allowing, it's letting go. It's really sitting in a place where you're allowing things to come to you. So that's interesting because with this Queen of Swords, maybe you're feeling like you want to be the one to take charge in the relationship or be the more masculine energy. But I honestly think the Justice card is really asking you to maybe not do that because if you've done that in the past and it creates a separation or maybe the person that you're dealing with gets overwhelmed or they feel like they can't offer you what it is that you want. Is that making sense to you? Because again, this person for you is showing up as a page, two pages. So they're not quite ready to fully give, to fully commit, to make a decision. I do think it's there. It's very, very possible with this connection. So 
with this Ace of Cups, it feels like it can be a deep connection. But there's some stuff in the way between you two. I'm just feeling there's some stuff in the way, and there's a lot of swords out here. We've got Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, Three of Swords, Five of Swords. There's something with the communication here between the two of you that is bringing a challenge. Okay, so clarifying the Page of Cups, I've got the King of Cups. This person is very capable of loving and giving love and committing and all of that. So they just aren't there yet. But that's pretty incredible to have the King of Cups clarify the Page of Cups. Because it's, it's almost like this person may be going through their own inner lesson of what they are capable of in giving when it comes to love and a relationship. Maybe that's the lesson. Maybe that's why there's a disconnect here because this person is capable of this, but maybe it's a pattern for them to stay here when it comes to love. Like they're scared to truly invest, to truly open up but it's in them and I feel like they want it and they want it with you, Libra. So I'm honestly feeling the best thing, Libra, is for you to just focus on you right now. Let this person have some space, get the lesson, okay? You keep working on you because again, it's like you are here in the center of the reading. So your focus should be on you. Pull back your thoughts from this person. I don't feel like it's going to end or be over for those of you who are involved. But this little shift here, there's something that is being worked out between the two of you at a higher level. Okay. Okay. So I asked, what do I need to know here about the ultimate outcome? And this is interesting. Tower, Five of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the World card. So like I said, there is a cycle coming to complete. And I do feel this King of Pentacles is this person. This King of Cups that you're dealing with that's showing up as a Page of Cups. They're going through a major transformation within themselves right now with this Tower card and this Five of Swords. They're fighting it. They're fighting what their heart is saying. But I do feel that's going to come that's going to come to completion. So again, that brings me back to my same me message. This person that you're dealing with, they are going through some stuff. Okay? Tower moment brings epiphany, aha, an awakening, a, a recognizing a pattern that no longer serves you. And with this five of wands, which you know to me can be what's going on inside the head. It's like unnecessary um, chaos, confusion, conflict that doesn't need to be there. To this person finally getting grounded, centered, and allowing the cycle to be complete. So again, I felt Virgo energy here with the Hermit card, or it could be another Earth sign, Taurus, or Capricorn. Um, I've also got Cups out here. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I'm feeling that's more to do with like the heart energy. The heart energy that this person has been trying to avoid, but I feel like it's there and they're not going to be able to avoid it. It's going to have to come through. Because ultimately, I feel this person that you're dealing with, deep down, they do want love. They do want this with you. But they've got to work out the inner stuff, which is giving you an opportunity to work on some of your inner stuff. Okay. So the last message for you, Libra, is spiritual growth. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? And there's also... One, two, three, four major arcana cards out here. Those always bring lessons. They always bring growth. So yeah, I strongly feel this connection is still here and will 
still work, but there's a disconnect. There's some stuff that you're each going through and working on. So, you know, let it be what it is. Let things naturally flow through the end of this month. There's the powerful new moon in Taurus, which is on the 22nd, 23rd. That's going to help clean up some of this stuff. But honestly, this is really powerful for what your person is dealing with. They're going through a major transformation here. Major. In realizing maybe past patterns from love where they show up as the page and quit before they reach king. Out of fear, out of, you know, whatever it is. But they want that. They're maturing. They're getting to this new level of maturity, but they need that alone time to work on themselves, okay? So I hope that resonates for you. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising, uh, your Venus, your Jupiter, and leave me comments below. I really do love reading all your comments, so thank you for taking the time to do that. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I've got clients all over the world at this point, which is really amazing. Um, the link is below. All the information is there. And please take advantage. I have a great 15% discount for you for your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. And yeah, read the testimonials. And I think that's it, Libra. I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of April. And I'll see you guys back here for the first half of May readings. Take care.